Hello everyone, welcome back to... What game is this? This game that I've not played for like about a year or so. Uh, we are going to do the daily because... Oh fuck. <laughs> we have to do... We have to win five daily runs in a row. And I did play yesterday's daily and won it. I was kind of hoping to lose it. But it was super awesome and I didn't record it because I didn't want to. Uh, getting a little bit back in the saddle for recording videos has been a while. It's not an Excel floor as well, no. Uh, I had no spoons to do anything at all, so I didn't record videos for a long time, and I'm not going to be beholden to you clamoring fans any longer. Um, but yep, yeah, we're going to continue playing. We're going to start with this daily run, which will be the second win of five, if we do indeed successfully win. I'm going to blow this up because the options... Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not a secret room. It's more bomb. That's fine with me. Let's do this boss and see how well, we, how well we do. It's only a mom victory that we have to do. Now, this is the interesting thing about a daily, of course, is that what you're playing for is points. But you do have to win five dailies in a row in order to unlock a new trinket. It's one of the achievements now. Um, which may or may not be very difficult. But if we want to get points, we're going to try and get past the mom fight. Uh, we're going to try and extend the run further than it will go. And if we want to try and actually win... We should stop at the mom fight and accept our lot in life. We've actually nearly got through a widow fight without getting hit. Uh, on the next floor, we think about... Um, that's pretty nice. On the next floor, we think about resurrecting ourselves as resurrected Lazarus. On this floor, we try not to take too much damage. And we look for a spirit heart to try and get us through the next floor without taking red heart damage. Thus giving us a good deal with the devil ch chance. Uh, allowing us to sell our HP in order to resurrect ourselves. I do like when that room has a pushable barrel. I think this is a better um, spacebar item all around, although having infinite, essentially infinite bombs... Oh, hello. We've seen you before. Please. Uh, having essentially infinite bombs is not a bad thing. Um, not entirely too... Con oh, well, we've basically solved that problem by having a trinket that gives us bombs, which is really, really nice. Okay, good. Uh, more coins equals more bombs. This is probably a secret room, but we should run away. That was an excellent move, and it wasn't the secret room. But I'm proud of that. I think I should be proud of that. I think I'm right to be proud of that. Does this room floor just have no secret rooms? I mean, yes. Appears to be the answer to that. I'm going to put a bomb here, but save one for the next floor. Uh, oh, well, this is the real secret room. So, we have a chance at a tinted drop because I don't want to find myself in a position where we can't get the tinted drop. Because we have no bombs, uh, I'm not going to save two bombs because we have two bombs and I could have looked for a quarter or something in those pots, but I'm not really bothered about it. So we took uh, the <laughs> Book of Shadows and I'm glad we did because it actually gets us out of this shit show of a room. Uh, and we got from our boss the coat hanger, which is a really nice tears upgrade. A decent DPS upgrade, but our best DPS, DPS upgrade from this floor is hopefully going to be from the deal with the devil like death's touch or something wouldn't ah, I wouldn't mind but failing that we could just resurrect ourselves uh, and get the stats upgrade that way look it's not the end of the world we have a 35% chance when we come out yeah so we've got a 36% chance still at said deal with the devil uh, further red heart damage will not cause us any further problems. And I'm wondering now whether we just uh, hope that this Book of Shadows charge will get us through this little horn fight. Honestly, a little horn fight shouldn't do too much damage to us. So as long as we don't take a hit on this fight, we will maintain our 36% chance with the deal with the devil. Those bombs do damage when they hit you, by the way. So be aware. And it does get damaged by its own fire, so that was good. Deal? No deal. Uh, there is HP, though, so this is a great opportunity to nevertheless kill ourselves on this floor and try and resurrect. I'm not going to take another amnesia pill. That much is fairly certain, because we'll know about it, which is beneficial to us. I mean, I probably should have just popped the Book of, Book of Shadows charge anyway to get the invincibility anyway. But Kano, we just use... Um, because it was a battery charge, so why not, right? But uh, I guess we didn't need it. 
Maybe we... It's not like we can save these charges up. We're going to get two charges for this room, but there's nowhere to put them, so they'll be squandered. And I'm not going to use it on this room, necessarily. Unless I find myself in a dire situation against this hopper here. It, it didn't happen. So no deal with the devil on this floor. Ooh, Spoon Vendor is a nice upgrade for us. Um, not going to go to the shop, really, but I will explore a little bit more. One of these is a library. Which one? In question. Unless the other one was a double key room and I did not notice. Is it? No. I'm going to spend keys. This is the library. Ah, this is what we needed before we got hit. Too late. Um, I think I will keep hold of it. This should be the bookworm transformation, so I didn't need to take the Bible. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep this, because it's going to protect our interests when it comes to deals with the devil. I'm also going to try for a secret room here. Hooray, I'm the best. Uh, more bombs. Magic mush, please. Oh! He shoots, he scores! Back of the net! What stats up? What makes you smaller? No. Better show fucking vision. Right. Now we're good. We're happy now. Um, obviously, not going to do the killing myself thing on this floor. In fact, we should probably just take this HP. Um, do you know why? Mm, that would be because I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that we were going to try and get the stats upgrade for being uh, resurrected Lazarus, but, you know, whatever. Uh, the bookworm transformation is pretty nice, and... You know, we, we've got uh, we've got a lot of things going for us, so we might not actually need to resurrect ourselves, which means we can keep the the extra life in backup in case everything goes horribly wrong later in this run. So, this is a fairly likely win, simply because we're going as far as Mom. Do we want to push it? Oh, PhD helps. Do we want to push it to the point where we try and get past the Mom fight? We're going to be looking for an Awas rune or the shovel on a deal with the devil. I mean, if you just want to blow this up for me, that would be handy, but I guess you... Ah, don't want to. That's okay, too. Secret room? Uh, it was a secret room. Very exciting. There's the rune bag, so that's given us a very good chance of getting the AWAS rune that I asked for. I will blow this up, even though we only have one bomb. A bit more money certainly helps. Oh, of course, we have the, the, the synergy that allows us to get more bombs from pennies, so that was definitely worth doing. Um, I think the run is strong enough, and if it continues to be strong enough... We have a good chance of getting down to the mom fight, uh, past the mom fight, because there is a good chance that we get an Awaz rune out of the rune bag that we just picked up. I used Lemon Party because I thought, I wonder if this is, I'm not used to knowing what runes, what the, uh, what the pills are, right? Judgment. I just blow this guy. Don't care. Give me something. I'm excited. Not going to take that. Glad I know what it was. Shouldn't have used Lemon Party. It would be great against the peep right now. The peep or just peep? Don't know. Peep or the peep? How do you prefer to be addressed? How do you like for me to refer? How do you identify? Are you peep or the peep? Maybe we should just stop skipping these uh these boss screens and actually learn a little bit about the game that we've been playing for goodness knows how many hours already. Actually, this is oh what a dodge! See that? See that? I can do it. I've obviously got a lot of Isaac Karma built up. This is going to be... Uh, oh, that's Bacano. That's nice. There's going to be a few bombs here. Unfortunately, not very much money. And one of them is a troll bomb. Uh, now we have a lot of fodder for our deal with the devil, which is... It's basically the equivalent of mutate later in Nuclear Throne. We have the goat head, which guarantees us every single deal with the devil from now on. Plus, it is a uh, precedent item because we paid for it. We're going really slowly, but I do want to visit this... Curse room. Oh, I want to go in here as well. There's only two sides to this secret room. Interesting. Um, we don't need to blow up uh, any of our mushrooms anymore because we have magic mush. This is obviously not going to do any damage to the enemies that have yet to spawn. Where did I get that fly from? Anybody? Ah, oh, that'll be the Bacano rune that I used some time ago. And Black Candle is just an amazing payout from a button in a curse room. That's, uh, that gives us our HP back that we spent on getting in there and makes us immune to all... I think I'll take perks. Unless this is bad. I'm excited. I remember. 
Uh, Mace is immune to all curses from now on, including Curse of the Labyrinth, so we won't be getting any XL floors. Which is kind of a shame, because it does speed us up to get an XL floor, but hopefully we can get a little bit more momentum on this floor. Uh, this is Catacombs 2, so there is a chance of an arcade, which means there is a chance we can get into that boss trap room there. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't hold out too much hope just yet. So what we really need now is a little bit, maybe some speed upgrades. We have got a 1.3 speed, but I still feel kind of sluggish. This is a secret room? No. Uh, I'm happy to use bombs on this because we've got so many of them. Uh, and I'd like to get a little bit smaller, if that's okay. Uh, maybe mini mush would be good. If you can see your way clear to bringing that to the table game, I will be grateful. This is a secret room, no doubt. Of course, there is a one that makes you see everything that is a secret room pill. This room, though, <laughs> let me out. Um, but we haven't got one, so I'm happy to use bombs to find that. Plenty of bombs from the money. Plenty of money from the money. Uh, sure, I guess. Okay. One of them being a sack means we don't actually have to spend quite as many keys as I normally expect to. Plenty of bombs. Um, the, the points from the bombs are actually quite useful, but I'm not going to... Look, I missed one of the bombs, okay? Didn't mean to, but I did. It happened. I'm not proud of it. But hopefully we can all get on with our lives. That is deck of cards, not starter deck, which means it will give us spacebar item for a card, which I'm not entirely sure is worth 15 cents, because I would like to keep our satanic bible to maintain our HP. We're not taking a lot of damage, but I would like to keep it going, keep it going full steam, too sweet to be sour, too nice to be mean. And the reason for that is we want to spend as much of our red HP as possible on the sorts of things that a deal with the devil can give us. And, of course, we're going to take silly damage like that every now and then as well. That didn't get a mushroom. It could have. Uh, karma's okay, I think. Don't quote me on that. Lots of people say, don't quote me on that. But can we quote them on having said, don't quote me on that? Is that a quotable quote? Because everyone says it, so it's a bit of a cliche, but, you know... Can people complain about being quoted that they said don't quote me? If you quote them and then quote that they said don't quote me, can you get away with a quote? Like I didn't quote you. I did quote you, but I also acknowledged that you didn't want me to. Like a creative commons sort of quoting. We have got the black rune, which is actually really nice because, well, if this turns out to be, that was bad dodge. Krampus's head, for example, we can just suck it right up, turn it into some stats. If we don't like what's in our item room, we can suck it up, turn it into some stats. Please die. There it is. I'll use it straight away. We got a fly and some damage and some range, which isn't the best thing in the world. Let's go and find our item room and I hope that we don't consider it a complete waste of time having done so. You're going to explode. Give me some stuff. Thank you. Uh, we'll go this way. There is a rune here. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Algiers. That's probably better than perks in a very objective sort of way. A very objective sort of way. Which I, by which I mean having about 20 seconds or 40 seconds of invincibility is better than taking half a heart of damage instead of a full heart on one room on the floors where you would otherwise take a full heart. That's more HP for us. Don't mind if I do. Monstrous Tooth is what I expected it to be, i.e. a shit item that we don't want. Let's see if we can find the aforementioned... Yeah, Dodger Bomb! <laughs> the only thing I'm capable of dodging in this entire game is the thing I actually should be picking up. Um... See if we can find a an arcade. Probably going to be taking a bit longer than we should be on this floor. Ace of Diamonds doesn't really do as much good because there's not enough to convert. I don't want to convert the Algis. Uh, let's use the Algis room to get out and then convert the hearts to money. The money could become bombs as well. Nope. But it gets us out for free. We want to use the arcade. Although if we were going to find an arcade, we shouldn't have used the Algis room. There is no arcade, so we're okay. But there is the self-sacrifice room, which is interesting because... I guess it's past the mom fight, and quite considerably past the mom fight, and I don't really want the perks pill because I want to go faster. Okay, good. We have suitably understood the situation at hand. We don't need to go in there. Heck, right. So that was a bit of a bad item room. Not necessarily a good idea to have gone to it. Um, and we haven't really picked up a great deal of um, improvements very recently. We did get a small damage upgrade, Horf. Okay, for our... 
Uh, Black Rune play on the Book of Belial. Uh, no, the head of Krampus. It's X of Y, isn't it? I mean, you cut me some slack. It's not like I completely got that wrong. Uh, it is the head of Krampus that we sucked up. We got a small damage upgrade, which isn't too bad, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. Mr. Mega could be a pretty decent item. It has the potential to be a fairly decent item, at least. Uh, get through there. Quick. Hate this room. I would very much like to have the head of Krampus right now, but I more prefer to have the Satanic Bible, which we do. So let's go. Speed upgrade would be nice. Uh, size downgrade would be nice, which means mini mush would be nice. Um, bombs are fine, but not really what we're here for. I haven't found a single tinted rock all day, all game. Have you noticed? Is this me? Am I doing it wrong? That was an excellent bomb, if I say so myself. And that worked out really well too. We will use this. We will take this. It's a Yarrow rune, which is what we like to see. I will spend HP to go in here because it could be amazing. It wasn't, but it could have been. Hagalaz rune, I don't really care about. To be quite honest with you, it could be great at some point by finding something for us. But like what, right? Oh, there's another one. Thanks for making my point for me. Um, I really don't care about it. The Yarrow rune could be great for uh, HP purposes because if we want to find... If we don't get an Awas rune, we can't go down to the wound. Uh, um, there is a chance of us getting an Awas rune because we have the rune bag, but we want to be able to go down to the rune. We, the wound. We also want to be able to get out of this floor a little bit faster because um, there is the boss rush to get to, and there is a fairly strong chance that we survive it this time. Not necessarily the highest of all chances. We will buy chaos because it's chaos. We. <laughs> Spent. Uh, I basically avoided backtracking by taking the battery charge at its literally least useful opportunity. Uh, but, you know, we don't have time. And these things just make the run take so much longer. Please stop. But chaos means that we could get some really cool stuff in the deal with the devil that we're prepared to pay for that isn't devil items. Uh, it also means that we could end up with uh, devil items in normal places, like the shop and the item room, so that's also good for us. We'll take the hero thank card and leave. Please let me through here. This person must end, be gone, finish, die faster. Having the book home transformation is actually super helpful for her because, uh, yes, thank you. It is occasionally giving us a double shot, which is increasing our DPS, I, I think by about a third to a half. You know, if every other shot was a double shot, which it could be, then it's increased our DPS by a half. Should I have taken that? I don't know. Uh, and if every other shot, is, if every like third shot, you understand. It's simple mathematics. The amount of shots that we double is the proportion of extra DPS that we're doing. And as a result, that is a pretty good bomb, I have to be quite honest. For Especially by my standards. I timed it such that it fell when he also fell. Perfect. There he was. So that's what we want to keep, even though we had a chance at Yera. Do you want to spend money on the bomb synergy? Yes. Do I want to spend money on that piece of crap? No. I know. By money, I mean currency. By currency, I mean HP. Let's get out of here. We've got the Awas rune. If we find a teleport card, we will take it because we can swap the Awas, Awas rune for the teleport card, do boss rush, get back into the floor. This is not a good time to be doing this thing. Uh, get back into the floor to pick up the Awas rune and finish the floor. Potentially, there will be a... Um, a... Self-sacrifice room. We shouldn't be doing this. We should be just looking for teleport rooms, teleport cards, and, and getting out of here. We haven't found really very many cards at all, actually, in this entire game. Uh, we can do that. That would be very useful if we can get out a boss rush. But we have to do boss rush. That's the important thing. Because it will allow us to get into the boss trap room, provided it you know, actually doesn't pay out before I, I'm ready for it to. That was a decent bomb. Help. We're okay. The trick to these enemies is just to keep running. Um, if you keep going in, like, if you go past them, they'll throw their head at you, but you're, you won't be there anymore. If you go towards them, of course, they'll throw their head at you, and that trajectory will cause you to take damage. That, that was okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't want the Perthro rune, but again, I want to be able to get out of boss rush. I want to be able to get into boss rush, and then I want to leave it. So we need to go... I don't know if we need to go faster, but we certainly don't need to be going the wrong way. Uh, and along the way, we should be looking for cards that can teleport us out. Or, e I guess, telepills could exist. We haven't taken anything that prevents us from getting. Uh, that's not it. 
uh, prevents us from getting pills, but we're not really getting any pills as well. So, you know, it's, it's a bit of a moot point to say that we can't get pills if we don't get pills. Please. <laughs> There's too many things on this room. This could contain a card, so I will open it. It did not. This could contain a card. Error. Well, worth it. Didn't contain a card. Uh, we'll keep our AWAS room because currently it's the only way out of boss rush. But we want to get back into the floor rather than just continue down to the next floor, which is what we're currently pegged to be doing. Oh, we're a strong favourite for winning. But I'm not in it to win it. I'm in it to beat the shit out of it. Telepills. Health up. Yes. Perks. No, something's wrong. No. Horf. No. Lemon party. No. We want to keep AWAS. So without telepills, oh, we explore a little bit more. We can do it. Secret room? No. Uh, no. We haven't got enough time, basically. We're not We're not doing enough damage that I'm yeah, confident of this. And that was a bit of a ballsy play as well, but you know we're doing it. Uh, we can't get back into this floor, and I'm going to have to be okay with that. That was stupid. I didn't mean to do it. But... The only problem this damage is going to cause right now is the fact that it's going to cost us a lot of um, points at the end of the game. But honestly, I'm in this to win this, rather than in this to be the best. You know, I can't be the best there ever was until you're at least remotely decent enough to win five in a row, right? If we can't win five in a row, we can never be the best that there ever was. Got to win them all. That was nearly good, except I didn't manage to use my Cuban meat properly. Right, so here's this. Here, we've had plenty of time, it turns out. Guppy? Spirit hearts. Uh, yeah, hive mind is actually pretty okay. So we'll go into boss rush. And we will take... I mean, I, th I guess we take the bomb synergy. Because it's a pretty good one. So it will do as well. Please. Um, it gives us five extra bombs. We do have plenty of them. I, I took damage because this thing is impossible to fucking avoid. There we go. So it's a, not a champion mom, but it is a champion Bostros, which is interesting. Blank Green is Hagalars, which actually helps because there are far too many rocks on this. Bloody f help. Uh, room. Here we go. Right, good. These... It's very difficult to keep two jumping enemies on the screen at the same time. And then dodge them when they produce shots when they land. Super annoying. We do have a cube of meat to protect us, but it's not very... You know, it's not a shooter cube of meat, it's just a normal cube of meat. Something made a noise in a dying sort of way. This thing has dashed itself upon the spikes, which is, is valuable. It's going to take ages. We could use our cube of meat on this. May not have been a terrible idea from the start. Please, though. We can keep ourselves in HP. That's not a big deal. If we had homing bombs, that would be super good. Must you, though. Uh, one bomb basically just finished off Mega Fatty, though, so I think I'm okay with the bomb synergies that we've got going on. And the fact we've got so many of them from the trinket that gives us them is going to be super helpful. But I think this is basically our run. Uh, unless we get another AWAS rune to go down to the womb too. Where are you? Splade. Good. Uh, we are not going to be going very far at all. I nearly got hit by uh, the bloat's eye there. But I managed to explode the bloat just in time. It was a very daring do sort of situation. Come on. How much HP has this bit got though? At least this bit counts as a... Uh, being on the ground, so if we can use our, uh, our, our Lazarus creep, that's fine too. Come on. I think this, this fight would be fine. Great. Just use it on an invincible enemy. No problem. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that um, the, the Mask of Infamy will turn around on a dime. It won't go to the entire end of the... I hate this. It won't go to the end of the um, the room. It'll just turn around when it gets bored. 
Which means you don't have that much of an opportunity to actually shoot it in the back in the first place. Because at some point it's going to be turned around to face you. Excuse me? Hello? What? None of that, please. I hate this version of the horn because it actually fires bullets. As well as spiders. So you still have to dodge the bullets. Which is difficult when you can't even see it. And then it makes spiders. Which is just... I hate spiders. Get out of here, though! Good. So we do that. We put this here. and hope it's not an invincible enemy. It's not. But it's not very much affected by a massive bomb going off next to it. So there's also that. More runes, please. That was just bad. I'm trying to step to one side of it and use my homing tears to hit it, but it's not really working out for me. As much as I'd hoped. Wouldn't mind Brimstone. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Chaos. Or maybe I can get Brimstone for beating Boss Rush. You don't know. Look. That's what we like to see. You be here. Okay, whatever. This is an Algis rune, which I should have used just before I ran into that joker. But what I'm going to do is save the Algis rune for an enemy that's fairly static. And then um, use the Algis rune to get Cuban Meat to do all the damage and save myself a lot of heartache from you know, failing miserably as I want to do. Oh, we just use it here. Why not? Save ourselves some bombs as well. Death is a particularly annoying enemy, so if we can get rid of it quickly and not have to deal with its bullshit scythe nonsense. Where is horse? Where is horse? Come horse. Be slow. This seems to be lasting a fairly long time, actually. Oh, this is a good enemy to have Cuban meat against as well. Algis is running out. Well, our time is running out. Muse. My favourite album, but many people disagree. And the reason it's my favourite album is it's the one that introduced me to Muse in the first place. I wasn't one of these people who knew Muse before they were sort of mainstream, I suppose you'd say. Before they made it big, basically. Ooh, hello. Uh, no, thank you. So, um, Absolution was the first album I knew. And so many people would say it's not their best, but uh, it's a very, it's, a, it's an accessible sound. Which is strange, because I don't necessarily go for accessible sounds in music. Um, I'm quite a fan of Incubus and Pearl Jam, which have a very sort of jazz rock sound to them. They don't really go for traditional chord sequences or, or melodies, as many others would. Um, but Muse don't have that... You know what, we should kill this Joker with this. Um, they don't really have that uh, uh, sort of experimental sound to them. Why am I not firing at the same time? Well, not anymore. Not in Absolution. But I quite like the album. So uh, I know a lot of the music from the album. Which is perfectly okay. And I'm not going to make you let you make me feel bad for doing so. What is over there though? Ah. Pip, who has yet to explain to me how it prefers to be addressed. So I'm just going to not address it. I'm not even going to give it the time of day. How on earth? That was really bad. I tried to shoot the bomb at the intended target, which is Pip. Uh, but I failed it. So, thanks for playing. Really? Underground enemy? This one as well. Who's shooting at me up here? It's just the husk. Please stop shooting me. This enemy could easily kill the husk for us if we do it right. It, it chose not to, but I can respect its decision, even though I don't agree with it. It's a very long boss race. It's been six minutes already. Seven. Even though we're throwing bombs in at a breakneck pace like a lunatic. We are... Done? No. Nope. Put this here. This is a great opportunity for... Ooh, for a bomb. I probably did a lot of damage to Fistula just now, yeah. <laughs> so the bombs are doing okay, it's just that 
they actually have to hit the enemies, which means you have to be in the right place when you place them, because they do take some time to go off. They don't just immediately explode, which is unfortunate. There is another bit. There it is. So this could be the last wave, hopefully, please. It is. We got, um... Oh, hello. <laughs> we got the the Trinity Shield, which is quite a rare item. Indeedly do does. So, let's just go down. Oh. Okay. So there is a chance when you use an AWAS rune that you get a crawl space rather than a trip to the next floor, which is what just happened, which means we don't get to play on the next floor, uh, which means we get to stay in here and suffer. That wasn't a very good run at all. I took a lot of damage I should not have been taking. That was 2,000th. But we did win. So perhaps there was another way out of boss rush that we could have used to play that that self-sacrifice room and teleport to the dark room but we didn't and we would have died on the dark room anyway so i'm glad to have got the trophy for the second time in a row that's two of five number three will be tomorrow thank you for watching today and i will see you in the next episode which will be an actual normal run where i probably just press random because i don't want to make decisions thank you for watching goodbye